All right, my name is Siobhan Hoshite. I am a fourth year graduate student in the Cognition and Neural Systems program here at the University of Arizona. I'm currently doing research in two laboratories. I work in the Cognition and Neuroimaging Laboratory where we uh, are interested in, in investigating the neural basis of memory processes. In the other laboratory I'm in, it's the Anxiety Stress Group, and we are interested in looking at the effects of stress on memory performance, specifically memory for things that occur in people's lives. The studies that we've performed in the lab uh, basically use a stress manipulation to stress individuals out previous to performing a memory task. And the memory task is usually watching a slideshow uh, because we want it to be applied to real world situations where people would be stressed while they are encoding an episode that's, happened, that's occurring in front of them or that an event that's unfolding in front of them. What we find is that subjects who are stressed out before they see an event that there actually is a dissociation in their memory. So what you get is enhanced memory for emotional materials, and that's relative to controls who are not stressed. And their memory for neutral material is impaired. So you get this nice dissociation in memory. And again, this is something that you see characteristic in post-traumatic stress disorder, where individuals have uh, very acute onsets of uh, traumatic memories that are not bound to any type of neutral context. So I became really interested in memory processes, in particular the effects of stress on memory when I was in high school, because uh, I took a psychology course there and I started reading on my own and reading up on certain clinical cases of post-traumatic stress disorder and also uh, individuals who had either suppressed memories or sorry repressed memories or individuals who had uh, false memories. So false memories are very interesting. And uh, the idea that we as humans really are very unique in the sense that our memory really, our episodic memory really does define us as individuals. So if you see patients who have medial temporal lobe damage, they're completely lost, right? They don't have any sense of past self. They have to be taken care of in the present. Um, so our memory is largely defines us and our past experiences and ourselves. Um, so to know that memory is very fallible and that you may remember something that never happened to you and that could change you fundamentally as a person I think is, is very interesting, it's intriguing. Um, so to be able to do research in this area uh, to figure out what types of information may be confounded by stress or mood or your perception of an event um, I think is, is quite interesting and very important to us as, as humans. It's interesting because if you do research in different laboratories, you feel at first that that research is housed in very discrete places, right? So you think about, okay, stress and memory, and then what regions of the brain are involved in normal memory processing and healthy individuals, but all of these things really tie together, right? And we know that the connectivity in the brain is uh, very profound. So the story for me really uh, comes down to, I guess, I guess several areas that I'm interested in. One primarily, again, is looking at the effects of stress on memory performance and looking at functionally what happens in different regions of the brain, let's say in terms of activation or even synaptic plasticity uh, when stress levels are very high. Uh, but you can also think about stress affecting other systems that are are also um, involved in memory processing. So for example, bringing back spatial systems, uh, so spatial navigation tasks and that sort of thing. So primarily I'm, I'm focused on medial temporal lobe regions that are involved in episodic memory. Uh, but those, we know that those brain regions are also, also play an integral role in the processing of spatial information. Um, and so those two things for me have been uh, of central focus in my research.